Uh, hello friends, my name is Hamid. Uh, today I have a Matek drawer. Um, I'm gonna work on it and I'll tell you what was wrong with this unit. So this Matek drawer look like, it looks like this. The drum is already out because I opened it apart before I make the video. So to open this um, drawer, you're gonna stick a, a pry bar in this area and then in this area between the the front uh, panel and the top panel and then you just pry it up so after leaving it up uh, you can see there's two screws that hold this in place one there one there you're gonna open those and then this uh, panel comes out after that you're gonna inspect this seal which is a good shape. It's a very good shape compared to the age of this uh, drawer. We are gonna inspect these two felts. They're also in good shape. There's two rollers. Uh, that's in good shape. This one is in good shape. And if you look at the motor, the pulley is old, but it still runs perf perfectly fine. I cannot see any problem with the pulley. And the last thing, there's the motor pulley um, This motor pulley was defective You see how it looks It's broken and it also caused the belt to break So I took the the drum out which is the arrow lady um, I also ordered this motor pulley usually when technicians are going in customer houses they tell the customers to uh, if if they have this problem they would usually give them the estimate for the whole motor they don't do this uh, first of all this part is hard to get sometimes uh, this part can take up to uh, three weeks uh, three weeks up to one or two months to get this part it depends where you get it from this is the motor pulley and the part number for this motor pulley is 8066184 you can search the sport number from google and ebay amazon and some other places they have it this pulley is about between ten dollars to twenty three dollars again it takes a long time to get this i was waiting for this uh, uh, pulley for a long time so finally i got it uh, to replace it this piece is already broken i just put it there to show you that how it looks uh, to replace this you're gonna have a plier like this or um, uh, what do you call it uh, a voice grip and you're gonna put it in that position so you can see how it looks you're gonna put it in that position and hard it really tight uh, the like uh, tight it really hard and after that, um, you have to see how it goes back and forth. Then you're gonna have to put something here. Um, you, you can hold this side with one hand and that side with another hand and then you're gonna go to the left. You're gonna turn it to the left while you're holding this uh, uh, blower housing uh, uh, blade this blower because this this is a little bit loose I already play around with it it's a little bit loose it's gonna give you a little bit hard time worst case you're gonna stick a, a, a screwdriver here you're gonna stick a screwdriver in here all the way in there and also at the same time hold it from here and you're gonna uh, take this pulley off from there with that ratchet. Uh, so, because it's a little bit loose, hopefully I can put my shoes there, my feet there, and then unscrew it. It's hard. Uh, let me see if I can put, if I can put my phone 
here on top of this flashlight and then I will work on it. My phone is turning slowly, so hopefully I can do this quickly. So I'm turning the blower fan with my right right hand side while I'm uh, holding tight on this plier does this, it works the same way I think it works easy so I don't have to open and close back and forth the plier I'm still turning the the pulley and I can see it's getting loose I'm using iPhone 10 and I don't have any kind of cover protector on it. I don't have an outer box for this right now, so it's really slippery. That's the only thing I don't like about iPhone 10, that it's super slippery and it can f uh, fall down from your hand easily. Okay, I think the pulley is almost open. I'm turning it towards left hand side. So I'm gonna replace the pulley and the belt and the dryer is ready to go. Everything else is in very good shape on this one. Okay, so here finally this is out. I'm gonna install this one in. And the way, it's exactly the same thing. You're gonna turn it to the right. You're gonna hold it straight and I'm turning the pulley. Uh, oh, it's not a straight.
it's a still not going to stall the sweat. I'm going to have to play with this. Okay, so here's the update for the other pulley, uh, the pulley replacement, which is this one. And you can see it's installed here. Um, and installing this pulley, actually, it was my first time. It's almost impossible to install this because I don't know, honestly, how they install it in the factory. So the way I installed this first, um, it was always, instead of going straight, it was, it was always getting installed this way, crooked, or that way, it was not installing properly. So what I did was, I already knew that this dryer is gonna go to the scrap because of this um, uh, shitty uh, pulley for the motor that it was not going straight. So I said to myself, well, it's this dryer is gonna go to the scrap anyway. So let's just uh, keep drawing it and see what happens at the end. Even when installing this pulley was closer to the end, it was still looking crooked. It was kind of installed this way. So when the when I uh, when I start the motor, the pulley was not going straight this way. So it was kind of going back and forth because it was not installed fully. So um, I use this old wrench. I just will ratchet this one, and I hold it from here and from inside. Uh, and then I keep retightening this one, keep tightening it, tightening it until it got to the end. When it got to the end, um, I saw that it perfectly aligned. I retightened it really good. It perfectly aligned. Now it looks like uh, it's in good shape. I'm gonna turn it on. I already disconnect the heat element wire, so because we don't have air circulation here. I may overheat the heat element and then it may damage that little small thermostat there inside. Uh, let me show you which one is that. When the heat element overheats, when the heat element overheats, that little thermostat that you can see there, the black color, that two white wires are going into it, that blows. So I wanna make sure I don't blow that thermostat so that's why I disconnected the that's why I disconnected the heat element one wire which is this one that one but the drawer is plugged in still so I'm gonna turn it on uh, so my door lock is good actually the door is open because I tried and now I can close the door okay so the door is closed I'm gonna start. The blower housing is working. The heat element is off. It's a good test for me. You can see it's perfectly installed. And So if you guys are also trying to replace your pulley on your drawer, uh, please don't give up. Because I knew I almost gave up on this drawer, but I said, well, let's, this drawer is going to the scrap anyways. Let's just finish the job and see what happens at the end. When I came to the end, I saw that the pulley is installed perfectly. I just had to tighten it. I know that the pulley doesn't look in good shape over here and here. But who cares, the belt is not going to go there anyways. I'm still going to uh, get a sandpaper in my hand and run the motor at the same time and sand this out a little bit just to make sure I make it smooth. After that, this dryer is fixed. And thank you for watching my videos. Have a good day, guys.